Good morning, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop. Um, and today we're going to feature this uh, mill drill uh, that I bought not as a mill but as a drill itself. And I'll show you some of the features of it. Um, this is a, a full, it has a full stem from the floor up. Um, we'll do some close-ups on that uh, shortly. Um, it has a, uh, a, a feed, a fine feed, which can be engaged with a, a screw here that, that brings in the, the handle. Um, it has a, a, an excellent locking system with just a touch of a finger. It locks, it locks the, uh, the quill quite well. It, it, the quill is a, a number three Morse taper. It has a, a drawbar unit at the top here that can go through uh, draw, uh, to, to use uh, Morse ring uh, fixtures um, if you want to do any milling. Um, the, as I said, there's a fine, uh, fine drive here. It has uh, five gear positions, two fast and slow speed positions. Um, it has a, a milling drilling switch to a stop, which I use as a normal stop, and a tapping arrangement. And then we've got forward and reverse for tapping that, uh, that works via a micro switch that's in, um, in, the, in the quill part. So when you can adjust with the screw here, you can bring the micro switch positioning up so that when you, bring, you come down to if you put a preset depth, then it will touch off that micro, um, micro switch and reverse the, um, reverse the quill drive and you'll be able to reverse out with the tapping. It's a very, very good uh, arrangement. It did have here uh, one of these swing guards with a switch. I've, I've got rid of that, as most of us do. We, the guards are more of a hindrance than a help. Um, and uh, the whole head has uh, about 600 mil, about uh, two foot, uh, just over two foot of movement up and down. It can be jacked on the rack and pinion arrangement on the other side. Um, and the, uh, the table can be raised and lowered and shifted around because it's a, they are a round thing. Now I'll just zoom in a bit and um, bear with me. I'll just swing this around and zoom in. So there you have the table uh, and the, so the table, and that's a, it's an XY table. It has um, calibrated, um, calibrated vernier on it and you can shift that and zero it at any position you want to. The, it ha they have flip-on handles, just flip over so they don't get knocked about. Um, in this, uh, this particular case here, I'm doing a, I'm doing a, drilling, um, a drilling exercise and I'll just bring that up a bit so that you can see more... Oh, we'll have to take it back out a bit. There we go. We'll come out a bit. I'll lock that up. So, yeah, so in this case, you can see the fast and slow uh, speed. We're on, on 2L, as is uh, too low. Um, and we're running on the fast speed, which will give us the speeds arrangements are here. So it goes from 95 RPM to 3300 RPM. This uh, gives you that range of those um, of 10, uh, oh, how many have we got here? We've got 3, 6, 12 speeds. So in this position that I'm in at the moment, I just um, start up, do my pilot drill. And then change over to the to the larger diameter that I want to use. And by the way, my preference is always uh, with the um, key chucks rather than the uh, the freak chucks. 
these are Japanese ball bearing ones. I've featured them a few times. And um, my son put an extra handle on. It has it has uh, su suffered a little bit, but he put that on so we wouldn't hurt our palm. So then all I have to do is swing it over to the slow speed, and I've got, I've reduced the speed. Um, the other features I have uh, have on this, um, I've I've put the um, the Morse release key on a chain, so it's easy. If I have to pull it out, I can just swing round, lock, and slide that in, and give it a bump. And I'm not chasing after this key all the time. I've also got I put a screw in the back. I've also got a, a little brush that hangs off a chain at the back and I also have the, ship, the spanners or wrenches that I need for the different bolting arrangements. On the, on the other side, up at the back here on a post, I have the T-nuts, T-slot nuts which are suited to this particular uh, table that are slightly smaller than the ones I have on the mills. Um, so that's about it. I'm, I might just wind this up for for you so you can see how the forward and reversing works. I'll take that take that drill out for the moment, and we'll, we'll just show you how how the tapping system works. Um, this has been featured by um, by Stefan, and Stefan may, may put in. Uh, digital readout uh, 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 here, and he made some modifications as well. Uh, he has the the mill the mill drill, but the table table type, which is not a round pedestal, but it's a um, dovetail pedestal. Personally, I would never use uh, a round a, a round uh, stem as a as a mill. If anything happens, that's going the, the head's going to swing around. It's going to be a horrible mess. Uh, but for small light work and in a small shop, that would certainly work well. So, um, let me just drift that there. Lock it in place. So, I'll, I'll show you the feature of this micro switch. When it comes down. So, we put that on tapping. We set it on tapping. We start on... What's that? That should be on forward. There we go. So we got tapping. When it comes down, what's going on here? Something's not working right. That should be okay. It's not holding in. There you are. It's making a, a lower one. Okay. So that should tip over. Ah, I don't like It'll only work at the low speed. I don't know what's happened here. There we go. Now, not the, low, the slow speed, not the low speed. So, if we're tapping, we're tapping, you get down to the preset depth and that should cross over. There we go. It's been a while since I've used it, but turn on forward and reverse and then come back out again. The, the action of the quill, the handles, is very, very well done. They're, You'll always find a feature that you may be not so happy about, but I found the 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 quill for the, the quill advance hand, handles are the right length. They're easy. They're they're, they're nice and um, they've got a nice grip to them. Even though they are smooth, but they have a they're just made right. Maybe somebody who's a, got a larger hand would would look for something bigger. But they uh, and then 
the locking, as I say, it's very, very simple. We can screw that in. It's got a taper connection, and then we can use the we use the fine the fine handle. It doesn't have a, an auto drive on it, but you can use that for fine uh, fine uh, arrangement. It's got a it's got a vernier on it as well, and you can zero that in. Um, so I think uh, you'll find that that's probably all. So we're going to take it all the way out. Um, it's, it's a geared head, uh, oil uh, bound. It has a, a sight gauge on the side. Um, and uh, yeah, I've, I've, I find it a very, very handy tool to have in. I have a larger one, I've, I've given that to a friend of mine. And this is where I do all my drilling and, and part of the tapping as well as on the mills. Thank you for watching.